do you think you're going? My husband's room. Third finger, left hand, and all that. Yeah? Room what? 318. The rates go double. So two can't live as cheap as one. Grady, huh? So you're the welcoming committee. You can call me Roger. Must I? Now, uh, we'll go find the, uh, long lost Mr. Grady, huh? You're so forceful. Your name is Roger? Don't get cute. Move. She didn't come down. Let's look at Al. Sam, I'm trapped in the alley. You better back the truck in all the way. doing here? Delivery. What do you think? I'll look in the back. You, get out. I wonder why you always have to run into find out if I'd left something behind at the hotel, my mail home, and then my wife would... Mr. Grady, we don't believe you. Oh, really? I, I just... Mr. Grady, please tell us the truth. All right. I don't even have a wife. Honey found a gun in her face. Now, why? I don't know. And your newsstand's been boarded up all week. What? You're gonna have to tell me the truth. Or we're just gonna have to say goodbye. I don't know the truth. That's the frightening part. I've lost my memory. Come on, Mr. Grady. We're your friends. You know who you are and you know who we are. No, it, it's not like that. It... From what they told me in the hospital, it will clear up. 
little by little. Hospital? That's where I've been for eight days. Automobile accident. I... I don't remember it. I don't remember anything. And then I got dressed to leave. I found that hotel key in, in my pocket. And this... A hundred dollar bill. I never owned one in my life. In the hospital, I... I kept thinking about my birthday. We had a little party. I can't remember anything that's happened since. And that was three months ago. I saw this overseas in the Marines. An injury on the head, temporary amnesia. Now you believe me? Why were you afraid to go back to the hotel? It's what I found in the trunk of my car. I was going to fix a flat. I opened the trunk to get the spare. I found this package. Would you open it? I, I don't want to touch it again. That's a lot of money. How much? $150,000. Neat little package. But it's real. How did I get it? And the hotel key and, and the hundred dollar bill in my pocket. Please, you've got to help me. What am I mixed up in? We'll try to find out, Mr. Grady. All I want to do is go back to my stand. All I want to do is sell... Newspaper. Newspaper. Well, we don't seem to be having much luck. Newspaper. Wait a minute, here comes someone. Hey, you're new. What happened to Grady? Oh, I bought the place. Why, did you know him? Oh, no. But he left so suddenly. Yeah, no. Do you recognize him? Newspaper. Yeah, he's a regular customer. Ladies and gentlemen. a shoe store down the block. It's the umpteenth person who's asked about you. You certainly have made a lot of friends. Well, I've been on this corner a long time. Newspapers, latest edition. There's no rise out of anybody. This is a cold lead. We'll stay till the freeze is over. Sam, it's Roger the Hood from the hotel. Can his friend be far behind? Sam, I'll be in touch. Honey, honey, honey. I beg your pardon, young man. I'm sorry, ma'am. I guess I got carried away. I get back. If you hear about the job, the boss is in there, but he's busy now. Oh, I was supposed to meet someone here. Sorry, but we don't open till five. Well, I just saw two gentlemen walk in. Oh, they in with Mr. Chico. Shall I tell them you're here? No, I I'll come back when you're open. Yes. Well, what happened to Grady? I bought the stand from him. Now, don't worry, 
I'll give you good service. We must have left some forwarding address. No, I just saw him one day and made the buy. And you haven't heard from him since? No. But the uh, stand's been boarded up for a week. Yeah, I know. Well, I had to give notice of my old job. Say, if I hear from him, do you want me to tell him something for you? Uh, just tell him, Mr. No, no, just, uh, just forget it. Uh, hey, mister. Yes? You got the right time? Uh... Yeah, watch camera. It takes a good picture. Mm. You recognize him, Mr. Grady? Sure, that, that's Charles Addison. The big construction man? Well, I've heard of him. He puts up all the big projects in town. He must be loaded. He's a good customer and a very nice man. He once gave me a $10 tip for returning a wallet he dropped. He said, an honest man is the hardest thing to find in this corrupt world. How does he fit in with a package of money wrapped in newspaper and two gunsels in a cheap hotel? We're not going to find out standing here. So what do we do? I'm going to look for a job. That I'm hired? Luan O'Brien, you got the job. And a lot more, baby. I owe it all to you, Chico. Oh, don't worry. I intend to collect. I better get busy. I take my jobs very seriously. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later, baby. Thank you. I checked the hotel registry. You never signed it. I guess we assume the key was given to him. Maybe he was supposed to meet someone. How do you feel, Mr. Grady? Worried. Very worried. If we could only pick up something to get started on. You suppose Mr. Addison might be the key? Key? That's it. The key. Mr. Addison. Did Mr. Addison give you the key? Did he give you the package? I think so. Yes. Yes, Mr. Addison. Mr. Addison's in suite 204. He doesn't answer, sir. Thanks. Well... Sam, look. It's the other hood from the hotel. How does he tie in with a man like Addison? Let's find out. Polynesia. Well, partner? I don't like it. I mean, you're going back to that hokey jungle restaurant. Well, it's the only lead we've got. Besides, what could happen to me with you just outside? Same thing that happened to Addison with the both of us just outside. I don't go swimming with my clothes on. You know, honey, maybe you just ought to drop the whole thing. I mean, with poor Mr. Addison and all. Poor Mr. Addison is just the reason why we will not drop it. Which reminds me, Sam, do you have Mr. Addison's picture? If there is a tiger in your hokey jungle, this could be the bait to make him roar. Yeah, I'll put him in the mood to kill. Anyway, this little listen device will keep us in touch so there'll be no surprises. Oh. You know what to do. Of course. Cigars, cigarettes. 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 Oh, thank you, miss. I was just leaving. 
Oh, young lady, would you do me a favor and uh, deliver this to the manager, please? Certainly, ma'am. Thank you. Anything for Mr. Chico, I'll take care of. Oh. I'll take care of Mr. Chico. Just for Brian, please. Oh, look what I've done. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Would you? You're terribly kind. Thank you very much. How do I get out? Where? This way. Oh, thank you. Oh, how chivalrous of you. You know, I did have such a lovely time here. Thank you, ma'am. Where'd you get this? Some woman outside said to bring it to you. A lady. I took her to the door. She had a cab waiting. Did you hear the address you gave him? No, sir, I didn't. I sent Roger in. man before? Something in the afternoon paper about being drowned in a bathtub? Get lost. Just like that? I told you to get lost. Well, all right. That's all I know, Mr. Stasho. Some dame I've never seen before brought this picture. I tell you, they must be onto our connection with Addison. You with me, Sam? I'm parked right across the street. I heard everything. One and one is beginning to add up to two. That's so right. Ed Stasho, East Side Loan Shark, borrow 100, pay back 1,000. And if you don't pay back, you may find yourself drowned in your own bathtub. Honey, our tiger has sharp teeth. Come on out now. Sam, the hunt has just begun. He was on the intercom. Stasho's in that building somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find him. Honey, I said come on out. Honey, where are you? Hi. I've been looking for you. How flattering. Uh -uh, no tricks. Of course not. Have a cigar. Why not? Honey, answer. Honey, can you hear me? Honey, where are you? Answer me. Cigar. For you, sir. Compliments of the house. Come in, Miss O'Brien. Or is it Mrs. Grady? What's in a name? Get over there and sit down. Well, it's Miss Cozy. Take off the wig. Keeps me warm. Mr. Stasho wants to see you without it. Take it off. <sighs> that just goes to show you. You don't know what you're getting these days. All right, Mr. Stasho. You're Mr. Stasho? Who would ever expect you to front as one of your own hoods? Practically nobody. Do you always do your own dirty work? Like Mr. Addison, I mean. Only in special cases. And 150 grand makes this real special. Get rid of the tray. Relax. Have a drink.
Thank you. How did Mr. Addison get involved? He needed a hundred grand in a hurry, and I gave it to him. At a reasonable interest rate, no doubt. No doubt. Fifty grand for thirty days. But Mr. Grady had the money. Why kill Mr. Addison? Addison said he gave Grady the money to deliver. Grady, he disappears. It's bad for business. I have a reputation to maintain. And Mr. Addison was the object lesson. That's right. And if this punk Grady has the dough, he can't sit on it long. I've enjoyed our little talk. All things must come to an end. I'm afraid so. The door of the garden is locked. Nobody will bother you. Take her to the lake. You do have a thing about water, don't you? Get her out of here. Come on, baby. Let you take a swim, huh? that tiger after all, didn't we, Sam? Oh. Fights, knives, guns, hoods. Boy, what a life. That's detective biz. All right, speaking of business, what kind of arrangements did you make with our friend Grady? For uh, services rendered, $100 bill. Stasho's rate was 50 thou for 30 days. Sam, hmm? about that $100. Oh, now, wait a minute, honey. Poor Grady. All this work and no pay? Uh, all right. Nice, Sam. Well, what am I going to do with you? Buy me a Polynesian dinner. I'm hungry after all that swimming.
see that. He had all the room in the world. I ought to... No, you ought not. Remember our client. One delivery, San Francisco. And where are the cops? They're never around when you want them. Sam? Hmm? If I were to draw 2,000 from the business, how would you react? I mean, just off the top of your head. I knew it when you started loading those dresses on board. Got those empty bank book feelings. At 1,000 and up, they're not dresses, they're gowns. Now we play idiot games. What's the matter, Pop? Did you want to pass? Why didn't you say so? Why don't you buy us a cup of coffee? Up to stop here. That's you, fun and games. I'll lock up. Hello, dolls. Two cups of coffee, please. Now that's what I call social security. <laughs> That's a compliment. No coffee for Pops. He needs adrenaline. Careful, he bites. Why don't you shut up? You want to apologize before or after I take you apart? Forget it, Sam. <laughs> Get out of here before I change my mind. If anything is broken, bent, or mutilated, send us the bill. Hey, you two got quite an act. We travel, too. Oh. You feel better now? The trouble is, you understand me. Three of them? Yeah. Where was he? Would have been more fun. Let's go. In what? He took our truck. Boy, have we got an act. You're the one about the two big city detectives? You mean the one with the two country cops? All right, fellas. What else is new besides ho, ho, ho? We may never live this down. Cleaned out. These fellas were professionals. Did you dust for fingerprints? Oh, we do it just like they do in the big city. Clues and everything. Here's some cigarette butts. I picked them over by that other set of tire tracks over there. Now, if there were three like you say there, there were. There were three. 
And I give you their license. Now, this is some kind of gag. We don't joke very easy out here. We're not playing it for laughs. What, hijack this truck and leave that arsenal? They weren't after guns. <laughs> Haven't you heard? They were after dresses. A hundred thousand dollars. I hope my wife never finds that store. They don't believe us, Sam. Look, we were on the way to San Francisco. Check with our client, Mr. Antoine of Beverly Hills. Two of these guys picked a fight. The third stole the truck. These tire tracks lead back to Los Angeles. Dresses, that's uh, some job for a detective, <laughs> isn't it? They were stolen, weren't they? OK, the report goes in. 42 dresses, $100,000. Now, that's a phony. The lieutenant has a short temper and a long arm. Yeah, well, we'll keep in touch. Thanks for everything. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'll play it straight. What did you find? A guitar string. Cyclops. I tell you. Never mind telling me. What are we going to tell our client, Antoine? One of our hijackers was a music lover. A guitar string? Is that the best you can do? You tied my hands, Mr. Antoine, when you denied to the police that anything was stolen. I may lose my license. What do you want me to do? Let it get out to the trade that my collection's gone, that all I've got left is this one gown to show tonight? You'd rather throw me to the wolves? It was your responsibility. The shoe pinches. And so will my creditors if this gets out. My chance to crack the international market, and you get into a fight with some punks on the highway. Who knew we were carrying the collection? Who knew? <laughs> the janitor, my competitors, everybody's got spies. Without the San Francisco showing, I'm ruined. Those gowns are worth a million dollars in business to me by the end of the year. Well, you still have three days before the showing. Three days? <laughs> that one, the blue swan, that took seven days to make. Do you think I can duplicate a collection overnight? Maybe a guitar string isn't much to go on. Not even for a one-man band. Miss West, if I don't get those gowns back, that fashion charity ball tonight might just as well be for me. We'll get them back. Oh, I've made up my mind. I've already picked one for my closet. Thank you. I found it. Here's your hat box. Good. Did you find Bruce's dress collar with the wireless bug in it? Oh, I don't know where he hid it. I'm still looking. Better get your thimble. You're going to be wearing it tonight. Oh, goody. I get to play, too. <laughs> Here's a picture of our star hijacker. Frankie McGovern, sometimes known as Frank Mac, Mac Frank, Frank Govern. Record is auto theft, assault with deadly weapon, and other assorted goodies. Regular mama's boy. Present address is unknown. And the other two boys, there's no police record. And the station wagon they were driving was stolen. Wipe clean of prints. Auto fifth picked them up just before I got there. Bet the boys downtown really put you on. Roasted, fried, and barbecued. How'd you get the photograph of the mugshot? My trusty watch camera and a friend on the force. Sneaky, but I'm proud of you. Well, Frankie boy, I hope you're a music lover. Because if you're not, we're right back where we started. If you're not, with Abel Sam Bolt on the trail. Abel Sam Bolt. And don't you want the clue that your partner found at the scene of the crime? What's the matter? I shouldn't sell guitar strings. Did you sell that? My label isn't clear. Uh, do you know this man, Mr. Kessler? No, I don't. A customer he is. He owes you money. No, no, he told me about your store. Why shouldn't he tell you? I know, I know. You play the cello. <sighs> do you have his address? What address? I'm holding a guitar for him. This is music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Sokovia, he's not. Breaks a string at least once a week. When I was young, it was Heifetz, Fritz Chrysler. Now it's baby, baby, baby. <laughs> what is that? How do you know he'll come back? A $20 deposit he's going to let go. He'll be back. <sighs> Such an instrument. It breaks my heart that he should buy it. He says he's working on a big job. Gets an advance today, and he's going to pick up the guitar tonight. Say, who hires such a coffee drinker? 
You don't play the cello? No. <laughs> With a face like yours, you gotta play something. Yeah. A waiting game. Are you there yet, Aunt Meg? No, not yet. But I'm in the business. Uh oh, we got lucky. So, honey, I'm getting ready to solve the bird's tail. Yes, sir. Of course, I'll remember about the feathers. Long, miss. Oh, why Antoine drags in a new seamstress at the last minute, I'll never understand. Well, let's get it on. I've got to get a shot. Claudia, a personal favor. No, anything, darling. Uh, this is Miss Helga, just in from West Germany. A very well-known model over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she'll model tonight. Uh, good international publicity. I'm sure you understand. Oh, of course, Antoine. Uh, anything for the house. Uh, will it fit her? It's beautiful. May I compliment you, Fraulein, in your native tongue? Du bist hässlich. <laughs> danke, danke. You know, there's nothing but small talk around here. Keep listening. You good boy, baby. I'm ready. You look gorgeous, but uh, what good can all this do? You never know. Someone may drop a stitch. Come along, mine here, son. Smile. You're a good sport, Claudia. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Just one shot. Certainly, Valentine. Thank you. She may have fooled Antoine, but she's a phony. Well, in this business, she's not alone. I told her before in German that she was ugly. She said, thank you. And now from the house of Antoine, Mirage, modeled by Fraulein Helga, who flew in from Germany, Western Germany, to be with us this evening. As with all the designers showing here this evening, Mr. Antoine's full collection will be seen in the San Francisco International Showing. He's one of the hijackers. I, I, I don't know. He left. Why? What's the matter? What happened? Wait for contact. Stay at your phone. Keep police out. 75,000 or your whole collection looks like this. $5,000. I couldn't even come up with 500 right this minute. Sam, where are you? Watching a stale coffee house. I've been trailing Frankie. He came directly here from the music shop. He's been in there about 20 minutes. And I think the meeting's come to order. Here come the others. Well, don't go in. Three against one, bad odds. And I thought you took me for granted. Just don't go in there till I get there, please. What do I do, wait till I grow a beard? I knew it looks good. I hear that note, that one great note, and I get the message. But in the corner, where do we hide? Hide, 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 hide. be my valentine. Yeah, any day of the year, man. Mr. Antoine's photographer. Things are coming into focus. I have a hunch he's the Pied Piper. 
Go the rats. Looks like a summit meeting. Shall we see what the boys in the back room are having? Sir Walter Raleigh. Like way, way out. Them pieces missing. Well, the puzzle's getting clearer. Let's call the cops. After the ribbing we took? Oh, yeah. Well, how are we gonna get them all together again? Why don't we frame us a Valentine? Valentine, you're the only one I can trust. You've got to help me. Then she's a detective. I never would have realized she made such a perfect model. Will you go along with us, Mr. Valentine? You know me, Antoine. What can I do? Do you have equipment for shooting at night? Well, of course. Infrared. Good. Then you come along with me when I make the drop. You photograph them. You mean uh, you're going to pay these thieves? Well, what else can he do if he doesn't show in San Francisco? He's bankrupt. I have the money in my office. Why don't you stay here by the phone in case they call? Bruce will keep you company. <laughs> right away. Have him make the call. He's got the money. Darling, this will work, won't it? I mean, it's... this whole thing is for you. For the both of us. <laughs> of course I love you, darling. I will. I'll call him right now. He's raised the money. Make the call. Uh, later, baby. Ready when they are. Hello. Have you got it? Yes, I'm ready. What do you want me to do? At exactly 12:20, walk down from Fifth to the corner of Fourth and Park at the park bench. Well, we're all set. Here, I'll carry that. Oh, no, way. that's all right. I can manage. You've already done your job. Mr. Antoine, call the police. <laughs> Call the police, Mr. Antoine. Oh, you won't have any trouble. Bruce hates violence. and clear. They discovered a bug in that box. Let's hope we get lucky. I hope they're headed for the gowns. They turn north. Sam? Yeah? There's $900 of our money on top of those phony bills. You didn't tell me that part.
We're in Clover. Too much, baby! Too much! Perfect place to hide a designer's collection. Let's go. Come on, man, open it. Come on, you work in this joint. Go get a screwdriver. Larceny is one thing, but murder is another. <laughs> Don't tell me I've got something to lose. Isn't this a little more in your line? All right, Sam, gather the clan. You want to join us? Hold it. All right, clan, let's gather. Finders keepers? Where is she, Aunt May? Dressing. You said that 20 minutes ago. She was dressing 20 minutes ago. She was dressing 30 minutes ago. She was dressing an hour ago. A woman's prerogative. This is also one of her prerogatives. Opera tickets, 20 bucks a piece. You told me 10 times. Did I also tell you it started 10 minutes ago? Down, Sam. Honey wants to look special tonight. She better be 40 bucks special. When she comes in here, I'm gonna give her a piece of my... Good evening, Sam. Good evening. I'm sorry I'm late. You're late? Cost a fortune. It's only money. Well, we'd better leave. We don't want to be late for the opera. <laughs> <laughs> 